everyone and welcome to this tutorial on how to make a half cap. Now I've been trying to work out how to do this for years. I've asked around, nobody could tell me how to do it, they all said it was impossible, but it just seems to me like After Effects is a little bit limited by only really offering you a butt cap or a round cap. Why can't we have a third option? To try and make this, I, I, I experimented a little bit, I'd, I'd make a stroke like this, I'd give it a round cap, and then I would adjust the scale. But then what would happen is, the scaling is affecting the whole layer, it doesn't go along with the path. How do you make a stroke where the cap follows the path? Well, it actually ended up being really, really simple. All you do is you just draw a stroke, and we're going to call this base. Give it a round cap, and then just duplicate that layer and call it matte. Go into matte, make it just a little bit thicker, pick whip the path down to the uh, base path, and then add a trim paths. Pull this down to about, I don't know, like 30%. And then all you have to do is adjust the track mat to alpha mat. So we're taking the shape of the mat layer and applying it to the base. And now, if you were to curve this stroke, it follows the curve of the path. It's literally that simple. Let's say this is a sleeve, and then we want the wrist to show. All we do is just duplicate the base, drag it down to the bottom, get rid of this uh, mat. I'm going to make it thinner, different colour, and simply attach this path to the original base path as well. So we're still being controlled by the original base path. And there you go. You can even have an elbow. It follows the path. Now this is not perfect, obviously, as you can see. The sleeve kind of travels up the arm there. But that would happen with a round cap anyway, so uh, it's not a specific problem to this. Now this effect will glitch out if you push, let's say, the corner up to right where it changes over to the sleeve. It's not 100% perfect, but it is a nice, simple solution, and it just gives a little bit more choice between the butt cap and the round cap. All it is, is a third option. Now if you don't like this hard corner here, all you do is apply a layer styles, add a stroke, make the stroke the same colour as the sleeve, and just increase the thickness of the stroke. Now you have round corners. So what is this effect for? Well, I would use it for the bottom of sleeves, the bottom of trousers or shorts or pants, as you Americans call them, and it's just a third option, halfway between butt cap and a round cap. It works perfectly with rubber hose, and I'm pretty sure it would work perfectly with any other rigging system that uses strokes. Anyway, have fun, see you later! If you enjoyed this video and want to see more, feel free to sign up to my Patreon for monthly tutorials. There's classes available for everything you can see here. Thanks!